good morning. It is about 6.30 Arizona time, which is 9.30 New York time. I tried to sleep in, y'all. I wanted to. I like. I actually thought I was gonna be able to because I was so exhausted. By the time we got back to the hotel and I checked in, I forced myself to unpack and I actually I let one of the videos that I edited on the plane export so that it could upload overnight because I knew that the internet here wasn't gonna be anything spectacular and it was gonna take a while to upload. I didn't go to bed until like midnight. And so normally when I let myself sleep without an alarm, I usually sleep about nine hours. That's my body's uh, sleep preference. Did not happen. I don't know if it's the time change. I don't know if I'm just excited, but like my body woke up. I tried to force myself to go back to sleep and I probably fell back asleep for another 30 minutes or so. And then I just gave in and was like, all right, I'm just gonna get my day started. Especially because I have to add something to my to-do list today. My, my very short to-do list that was like, go lay by the pool and read your book. So I'm unpacking last night and I hang everything up. I put my shoes in the closet. I'll give you a room tour when I'm done with this intro. And I have my like toiletries bag and I, so I go and I wash my face and then I think, oh, I need a Q-tip so I can put something on this, my friend here on my face. And I realized that the Vera Bradley hanging bag, if you watched last week's vlog, when I showed my packing, it has my hair stuff, so my brush and my hair clips and my headband. It has my like Q-tips, like cotton pads, band-aids, hair ties, bobby pins, and all of my makeup. I left it at home. I left it hanging next to like my vanity in my bedroom. So I don't have any makeup. Like, like I bring extra hair ties, it's great. I like can survive with the one that I have. It, you know, there's like some, the Q-tips and the cotton pads and the band-aids like are nice to have just in case, but like I need my makeups. So luckily there's an Ulta, not far from the hotel. It doesn't open until 10 though, so I can't check that off first thing. I think I will feel much more relaxed and less stressed once I get that checked off. I just, I can, how, how did I do that? So I was gonna order room service today. It was gonna be kind of my like a little bit of a splurge. It's, not, it's actually not that expensive at this hotel. I don't know if it's Arizona or if it's the hotel, but they, they're providing breakfast the next two days. So today I was gonna splurge and order room service. I thought it would be nice to have while I, I might still be unpacking or I might be getting ready. I thought I was gonna have less time today because I thought I was gonna sleep in and not get up at 6 a.m. But I, I was looking at the menu and they actually have a buffet downstairs and I am a sucker for a good breakfast buffet because I love for breakfast, I love breakfast food for stuff, but I love being able to have some savory and then some sweet. Like I love being able to have like eggs and bacon but then also have like a pancake. And so when you're ordering room service, like you gotta pick, I can't, I can't order both. But if I go do the buffet, I can have both. So I'm gonna put on some real clothes and take my book and maybe my laptop and head down to the buffet. And then the coffee is already made. I don't have to make it in this thing or pay for it. So I think that's my plan. Actually, I'm gonna give you a quick room tour. That's step one. Step one, room tour. Step two, breakfast buffet, read, get some morning reading in, and then maybe work, finish editing the video I was working yesterday on the plane. I finished editing the video. It's the Q&A video and I wanna add the questions, like the screenshots of the questions, and I need the internet to do that. So I think I'm gonna take my laptop with me, and while I'm enjoying a nice cup of coffee, I'm gonna work on that a little bit, and then we'll see what time it is. I did say I was gonna work out this morning, but I might just like swim. That might be my workout, I don't know. I always have great intentions of working out when I travel and I did work out twice at Go Wild and I was so impressed with myself. I just don't feel like it. I really, really don't. Maybe after some food and coffee, I'll feel differently. And if I still have time, which I, I don't know why I wouldn't, between like finishing that video and Ulta opening, like what else am I gonna do? Okay, so let me give you a quick room tour. So this is what it looks like when you first walk in. Directly to your right, you have the closet. I clearly have like a color scheme here. One of my travel tips, which I uh, I might do this morning, I might do it after breakfast. I will hang all of this up in the bathroom and I will turn on the shower to max heat and shut the door and basically steam them so I don't have to iron any of them. So that's the closet. I put all my shoes in the bottom of the closet and then it has a fridge and a microwave and then this is the little like coffee station. So you have coffee and tea. And so I added the candy that I got at the airport last night. Um, I also have my Harry Potter wand here. My vitamins I put over here, I already took those. And then one of these random Erin Condren reusable bags. And then I set up my little charging station just like I would at home so that my stuff is not near, not near the bed. I put my phone over here last night to sleep and I just have my little like 
charging station. I, it might be a little travel not to travel with this, but like I love, 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 love this setup. And then um, the ice bucket, which I actually didn't fill up because this has plenty of ice in it. And there's also this little seat, which is really cool. So you can like use this as a vanity. I kind of, I kind of like that. And the, the lighting is nice if I have, if I leave the windows open. Although the lighting in the bathroom's not bad. Okay, so here's the bathroom. It's got one sink, which I actually like. Obviously, when I'm traveling alone, I'd rather have like all the counter space. So it is what it is. But this is just the bathroom, my very overpacked toiletry bag, which I understand. When I decided to check a bag, I went overboard on the toiletries. So you know what? At least I don't have my makeup, but I have all of my product. It makes me feel good. And then over here, we have the, it's a shower. Just like a normal shower head. And then a tub. The tub is kind of small like it doesn't look like you could like lay all the way down but hey it has a tub and i've been in hotels recently that don't and i love 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 baths okay let's go back out here now the decor of the room is not like it's not modern i mean it's like cute little it just feels like a classic hotel it's very simple it's very clean um, it's not the swankiest hotel i've ever been in but i'm not i'm not complaining it's very nice and very clean so over here to the left we have this little sitting area which I was thinking about like if I'm gonna try and stick with my morning routine and reading in the morning, I would sit in this cute little chair and read. It's got a lamp. And then over here, we have this like big open space. So I have all my bags over here. So I have my Erin Condren oversized tote that I, I brought extra in my suitcase so that I can take it to the pool. I have my backpack that I carried on and then my suitcase on the little suitcase stand. And then we have a little desk, which is mostly just a table. Got all of my planner stuff, my laptop. And then we have two beds. I slept in the one not by the window. I don't know, it just feels like I felt more centered to the room. Um, I won't even like probably touch the other bed. And then a little like mini dresser and a TV, which I actually have a weird, weird goal not to turn on. Like I know that sounds crazy, but I think it will be better for my sleep. I think it will be better like for my like speed and productivity of like getting ready and doing things when I'm in the room. Like if I turn on the TV and just have like even friends or SVU on while I'm getting ready, which I do like, I like to do in hotels. I don't know. It's weird. But I, then I come out to look at things instead of like focus on getting ready. So I'm going to try as part of my weekly productivity bootcamp focus, which is to eliminate distractions, not to turn on the TV the whole time that I'm here. And then there's this like weird chair in the corner. And then here is my view it's a nice lovely view of the parking lot and then across the way that's like the conference center so that's where the conference will will actually be i forgot to mention one other reason i kind of want to go to the buffet instead of just ordering room service is the harry potter pokemon go game and i don't know what's called it yet until we like understand what it is the harry potter game that's like pokemon go i need to hit some of the stops that are down in the lobby. I can hit one of them from my room, but not all of them. All right, let me show you what I got. Luckily, I ran into a friend this morning at breakfast who had a 20% off coupon, so that made a world of difference here. There were one, kind of two things that I pivoted from my original plan on. I'll explain, I'll explain. Okay, so let's start with, let's start with, I know the brush thing is big, but let's start with the, let's like go in order. So, so I got my normal foundation, which is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I would have gotten this anyway. I got my normal concealer, which is the Elf Camo Concealer. Would have gotten this anyway. 
my normal powder, which is the Maybelline Fit Me. This was gonna get packed. I did get a new blush. So I normally, when I travel, pack my Becca blush highlighter palette. It's just easier to travel with and it like it never breaks. But I've been wanting to try these Milani baked blushes for a really long time. And so this is like one of those colors, I don't know if it's gonna focus, that the YouTube beauty guru swear by Luminoso by Milani. And so I've decided to get that. And then I got the Wet n Wild highlighter, which is what which is what I use every day on an everyday basis at home. I was gonna get a different color so that I wasn't repeating myself, but honestly, I love this color so much. And when you want, this doesn't really go bad. And I've already hit pan on the one at home, so like, it's on the down, it's on the down slope. And then. What else do we have in here? And then for eyeliner, I got the NYX Epic Ink Pen Ink Liner. This I would have packed anyway. I love this one. Did I get the right color? Yeah, I got black. I almost got the wrong mascara. So mascara, same thing. I think I did pack a high-end mascara because I do enjoy high-end mascaras, especially if I'm gonna be taking a lot of pictures or be on stage, but I do love the Lash Paradise. And since I just opened a new high-end mascara, I didn't wanna get another one because I don't use it on a day-to-day -day basis. So I got the Lash Paradise. I almost accidentally bought the black brown and I watched as she was rigging it up. So I was watching the total crawl up and I saw black brown. I was like, oh no, not that. Okay, got the black. And then, oh, and then bronzer. I got, this is the bronzer that I use at home. I didn't pack this one originally because traveling with this does make me nervous. So I packed my Hoola bronzer, which is high end. So I might like make sure I carry this on so that it doesn't break on the way home. But I do love this bronzer. And then I got the cheapest eyelash curler that they had, which was this Revlon one. I mean, an eyelash curler is an eyelash curler. I do have a nicer one at home, but again, I just got the cheapest one. So I also remember that my brush was in that same Vera Bradley thing and so I just got this like little tiny this was like a the cheapest tr to go travel brush and this is going to be just my new travel brush all right the other things I kind of went off the rails a little bit so let's talk about this first so I like to put a nude eyeliner in the waterline of my eyes I think it just brightens up my eyes I do have I think it just brightens up my eyes I have dark lashes and so my lower lashes can sometimes just it looks dark and so I was going to get the wet and wild like they make a nude eyeliner specifically for brightening things. And that was what I had originally intended to buy. I have it at home. It's okay. It's not, it's not awful, but it's not the best. This is the one I do use on a day-to-day -day basis. It's actually a concealer. I don't know if that's going to focus. It's actually a concealer pencil from Nude Sticks, but it stays so, so, so well. And honestly, I'm on... Like I'm on the last bit of mine, that the one that I packed, it's like this big. It's like a little tiny, tiny baby pencil. So I decided to just go ahead and splurge because I had the coupon. I decided to go ahead and get a new one of these. So this was the only high-end thing that I purchased. And this, I mean, this retails for like 20 bucks. So this definitely made up a big chunk of the total. All right, and then brushes. So here was the situation. I was originally planning to get the Wet n Wild brushes because their brushes are decent and they are very inexpensive. And then I was gonna get a beauty blender. This Ulta did not have Wet n Wild brushes. So I started browsing. I've heard good things about the Real Techniques brushes. I've never used these, but since I used the Real Techniques beauty blender, I saw this, this bundle, which was a really good deal. This was 20 bucks. And I think if I added all these things up together, I did it in the store, it was like, over 30 so this was a really good deal and and then I got the real techniques like fluffy brush and then I saw that elf had had brushes I'd already had these two things in my bag plus another eyeshadow brush from real techniques so then I went on a hunt for an eyebrow spoolie and I found that, that elf had had brushes too and they were inexpensive but honestly like this was I think nine this real techniques brush and the elf like face powder brush was 12 so these were still less expensive but the real techniques eyeshadow one that I had in my bag was actually a two pack and I really just needed a blending brush and so I decided to get this elf one I think this was four dollars and then I got the eyebrow spoolie and this was also four dollars I believe so this was probably like the one thing I really like it hurt me to spend money on I mean all of this like I'm gonna use I'm gonna use it up okay maybe except the eyelash curler but like these two things can just stay like in my travel stuff and then all of this is stuff that I will use up the brushes, I was like, oh, I really don't want to spend on brushes. I, I recently bought new brushes like a year ago, give or take. And so I just, I don't know. It's kind of a bummer, but oh well. 
now I have everything. So the, the things that I didn't get that I would have normally packed. The first one is eyebrow products. So I am gonna use the spoolie and then I'm gonna use the brush on the other side and I'm gonna tap into my bronzer to kind of fill in my brows a little bit. Hmm, maybe I should have bought a matte bronzer. Oh well, my brows don't need a ton of touching up, but I definitely did pack brow items. And then eyeshadow. I didn't buy, I, I, I almost bought eyeshadow. I was so, so tempted but I decided that it is not necessary. I can use between my bronzer and my highlighter and like my powder, I can, I'll do enough. I'll do a little something on my eyes and, and it'll just be fine. I'll just put an extra layer of mascara and hope that nobody notices. Now I think I'm gonna head to the pool. I didn't quite finish editing that video this morning, which I wanted to do so that I could export and upload while I was at the pool. It's for Monday, but it is so nice out and I wanna go enjoy the weather. And I thought about it, if I do get in the pool, which likely I, I will get in the pool, I'm gonna have to wash my hair. And so while my hair is drying, because I hate blow drying my hair, then I will finish editing the video like later this afternoon. Also, I took, the hotel has a free shuttle within a five mile radius and the Ulta was like a mile and a half. So he took me to the Ulta and then I called and he came back and picked me up. And when he picked me up, there were three other wonderful ladies in the van and they were from Texas. And so we got to chatting and then they had gone to Walmart to get a bunch of stuff and they gave me a beer. So I'm gonna take my nice cold beer to the pool with me. My book, my FabFitFun magazine that I haven't read yet and uh, get my vacation on. Forgot to mention the total after the coupon was 120. But again, like 20, well I guess after the coupon, 15 of that was the nude sticks, concealer sticks. Oh, oh well, I'm headed to the pool now and it will all be okay. I just got back to my room and I thought I would quickly show you the dress that I ended up wearing to prom. I got ready really quickly so I didn't have a chance to show it to you, but it ended up being super cute. The dress actually has no zipper, which is kind of weird. Also the lighting is making it look way more pink. It's more of a like dark fuchsia purple, but it's, um, it's just very simple at the top. It's a little bit more low cut than I normally would go with. And then the skirt is kind of full. It's kind of this like, it's like a stretchy bouncy material almost. It's very thick and then I just, or some wedges. I mean, not that I would have worn wedges to prom, but like it's the summer and I wasn't gonna wear real heels, but prom was super fun. Let me flip it around. <laughs> prom was super fun. They had sort of a show and tell where you could go up on stage and they had like a dot cam and then you could show your planner and like what, how you plan, what you plan, that kind of thing. It was super fun. I didn't capture any footage because it, I didn't want anyone to feel uncomfortable. Like it's not like they were speakers, like it was attendees going up and showing their planners, which was really cool. So now I am back in my room. It is like 9.15 and I'm, I was tempted to stay up and socialize, but I know we still have a long weekend ahead of us and honestly I'm exhausted. Like it's midnight New York time and because I didn't, get a whole lot of sleep last night and I thought I was gonna take like a legit nap today and I did not. So I'm gonna call it a night and get to bed early, take my makeup off, put my pajamas on and get ready for tomorrow.
and we apologize. You guys, do you guys know how swag works? Like, do you guys know the purpose of swag, the purpose of people sending you all the goodies that are in front of you? Because they want us to spend all of our money there. They want you to spend all their money, all of your money, oh, with sorry. them. <laughs> um, so Bess was so generous as to donate those, but she did them uh, before Go Wild, or like, yeah, before Go Wild. So it's all a blur from there. You guys know how that goes. <laughs> Um, so we kept the table super minimalist for you, and I know for those of you that are new to planner events and this is your first time, um, a lot of times you get a cup and you get a t-shirt, and we were just like, please yell if you agree with me because you've been to enough planner events. Y'all don't need another damn cup. No. We want you to learn something functional that you can apply in your life right away. We want you to learn something new creatively. We want you to make a new friend. We want you to teach someone else something. So Jenny McGarvey has taught classes um, all around the world on crafting and scrapbooking. And we were really, really happy to have her here this year because um, she taught a class yesterday where people got to learn about um, memory keeping. And today she's going to be teaching us some more things. In 2014, I bought an Erin Condren planner because a scrapbooker that I follow used an Erin Condren planner. And I thought, oh, that's cool. And little did I know that it would literally change my life. Yes. Um, people say that all the time, like, oh, this changed my life or whatever. No, for real, it straight up changed my life. An Erin Condren planner changed my life. I'm super excited to be here. So as my full-time job, I work at Arizona State University. And as part of my job, I get the opportunity to teach success courses. And basically, we teach students how to be good humans. This is not the session where you're going to learn to watercolor your stickers in your sticker book before you put them on the page. But hopefully, we're going to learn about why what we do is awesome, because there is science behind it. When you are planning, you are not only picking out a sticker to go with that activity, you're putting it in the day of the week when it is, you are handwriting it, or people, what do they call it, hand drawing it, or making it real fancy, you are picking a specific color. All of those things make it more likely that you will actually remember what you have to do. So let's, let's get the Harry Potter people up here to experience. to sell, I was in a position to take advantage of that opportunity. 
So it's my hope that you have more of those hell yeah days than the over it days. Get your own work back. But no matter what happens, don't forget to believe in yourself and believe in your dreams. Be willing to change course, modify your plan, reverse if you have to, and then move forward. My name is Sam, as she mentioned, um, and I'm here to speak to you today about fueling your passions. And I'm gonna kind of walk through sort of what exactly that means. Um, but my question to you is, if you only had one month to live, do you feel good? Have you done enough? Have you given it your best shot? How, do you feel fulfilled? Are you happy if you only have one month left to live? But life feels more fragile, more urgent, more intense, more alive. I don't put off things that I should do because I don't know if I'm gonna be dead anymore. <laughs> I don't. And again, I don't live my life thinking I might be dead anymore. But it's just that mentality, I don't, as Jen said, you don't empty the dishwasher, fold the laundry. I just don't cut off things. Not because they're super amazing, just in my mind, you never know what's around the corner. I just got back to my room from the glow sick pool party. It was, I mean, I had a good time. I think in any other circumstances, if I was not speaking in the morning, I would have had a lot more to drink. I would have been in that pool. I, I love to swim. I love to swim. Like I love getting in the pools and like going underwater. And I mean, the biggest thing, I just didn't have to wash my hair. Truthfully, that was, well, that was why I didn't get in the pool was because I didn't want to have to wash my hair. And if I wasn't speaking, I would probably be, have been okay with just like wearing it natural and letting it dry, like air dry and wear it natural. But because I'm speaking, like I wanted to have my hair look nice. And then same thing with drinking. I mean, I had a drink at dinner and then I had one drink at the pool party, but I just, again, I'm getting up to speak in the morning and I want to be on my A game. So, I mean, I still had a good time at Chaz and her amazing family of Shameless Stickers hosted the event and they played so many fun games and then everybody just sort of hung out in the pool and they were on big floaties and everybody had glow sticks and it, everybody was having so much fun and everybody was just being themselves. It was so very like refreshing to not have a bunch of people worried about like like what they look like in a swimsuit and what other people are gonna think and if they want to get on the giant unicorn float like they're gonna get on the giant unicorn float and it was just like it was really awesome to see that so now i'm gonna wash my face and put my pajamas on and get back in this bed i'm so tired i think i've adjusted a little bit to the time change but like not really it's late in my head Okay, also, I still haven't mastered how to hold things so you can see me in the mirror. But I bought this cute new swimsuit, and I was kind of sad that I actually didn't get to show it off because I never took my cover up off. Um, but I got it on Amazon, and I wanted something that would be supportive, and then I wanted something that was more like a dress, like a swimsuit dress. I mean, it's still, like, ridiculously short. Like, I would never wear this out in public. But I think it's super cute, and it was, like, 30 bucks on Amazon. Good morning, it is Sunday and I am just in the room. I'm actually the only one in here. I'm just checking to make sure everything is set to go for my session. They already preset the tables. So there's a bunch of little things on the tables. There's a headband so that you can make sure you wash your face. Planner Girl Chatter already put their things down on the table and then Kit Life is sponsoring this session. And so they have these cute little habit tracker stickers. It's a pad, it's double-sided, and of course in their gorgeous Kit Life colors. They also donated, well, let me fix that before I go uh, up onto the stage. So they also donated six of their favorite books for personal development. So these are the six books that they donated that I'll be giving out during my sessions. So I think I'm gonna go grab some breakfast and then I'll come back here and kind of like mentally prepare. If you are a little wild, Cindy may come to Kristen telling her that self-care, sleeping is not self-care. <laughs> that, that is just something that you do as a human. And I'm gonna agree and disagree with that. Because while the act of sleeping is something that you have to do to survive, it's something that you do because you're a human, focusing on your sleep and getting better sleep, getting more sleep, either going to bed early or sleeping in, that is self-care. Like, like it seems like it's a simple like put it down on your planner and then and that's it. And then it's gonna happen, right? How many of you put things in your planner and then they don't happen? No. <laughs> What's the what's the line? I'm a planner, not a doer. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you five ways to work on incorporating habits into your everyday life. All right, the first one is to break big habits down. How many of you have ever felt like 
on a new you have like a sticker or like on January 1st, like AM routine or PM routine. And like you want to work on that. But realistically, your AM and PM routine is like 17 different habits. It's not, that's not how. You're not going to fix all your self care problems tomorrow. You're not going to fix them all this month, this year. You're probably not even going to fix them all like, in the next five years because everything is always going to come up and things are always going to change. But if you take a little bit at a time and you implement a little bit at a time, it adds up. And in fact, in this book, he talks about the 1% anomaly. Jen made a quote about improving 1% every day. I don't think you put up the graph, though, by the way. Visual, put up the graph. But if you improve 1% every day for a year, 1%, you know 1% of your day is like 10 minutes, maybe something like that? I don't know, you can't that fast, it's too early. 1%, improve 1%. By the end of the year, you will improve. 38%. So today we are going to start um, with a Q&A. And so I'm actually going to start with this. I mean, I have a microphone first, so that's what happened. So I just wanted to ask you guys, how are you doing after this whirlwind weekend? I mean, you won't shower-ish. <laughs> and yeah, Stephanie was able to get her makeup on. So plantation ended around noon. I went up and packed and checked out of the hotel and then I just hung out with a bunch of amazing women all day. We played with dogs, we talked about all kinds of things, we ate pizza. It was it was just a wonderful, like very relaxing post plantation day of hanging out. And now I'm at the airport about to take the red eye home. And then I'm going straight to work. And I had intentions of coming home from work tomorrow, almost today and filming the plan with me and still getting it up on Wednesday as scheduled. But there's two things. One, I have a lot of plantation footage. And if I combine that with the actual weekly vlog that goes Monday through Friday, it's gonna be a long video. Also, I'm not gonna wanna film a plan with me when I get home from work tomorrow. After getting only five hours of sleep and it being on an airplane, I'm just, I'm gonna be exhausted. So it's been a really long time I don't even actually remember the last time I skipped a plan with me. I think it might have been the holidays, but there's not going to be an official plan with me on the channel this week. This vlog, the plantation vlog, will go up on Wednesday in place of a plan with me. I will share what I do to make it through this week on the weekly vlog that will go up on Sunday. And then we will be back with regularly scheduled plan with me's next week in my new Aaron Condren. <laughs> The new Erin Condren will start, so we will start fresh with new plan with me's in the new Erin Condren. So I won't be having like a final hourly plan with me, which is fine. It is what it is. I think that this will be much better for my sanity. I think it'll be more enjoyable to have the plantation vlog be separate from the weekly vlog. I think it will just be better all around. So that is going to be the end of the plantation vlog. I'm going to close it out here so I can go get on the plane. I had a wonderful, wonderful time. It's a long flight and time change is rough, but I had a wonderful time seeing old friends, making new friends. I felt so welcomed. It was it was absolutely wonderful. And so thank you so much to Stephanie and Jamie for inviting me and for having me. And that's gonna be it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you so much for watching. Happy planning. So I brought my, ho my, my hose clinging up. <laughs> what? My clothes hanging up. While we're here, I'm gonna plug in the external battery and unplug the... But I have been wanting to try these Milani Blake blushes, and then I got the, the, and then I got the, what is this called? What planner do you use? All kinds of that. It was all the blah, blah, blah. The, this vlog, the plantation, blah, blah, plantation. And then we'll be back. Only boarding customers in group A.